Rafael Nadal believes that playing on hard courts does not benefit his body. The Spaniard, who withdrew from the BNP Paribas Open due to a knee injury, believes that all his years spent on tour competing at the highest level are playing a role. Probably it's more about 1,100 matches on tour than any surface, said the 32-year-old. The thing is if I say now something against the surface, looks like I am always talking negative when I am in troubles, no? Something that I said a lot of times when I was younger, earlier stage of my career, is true that if you check all around the world and which kind of surfaces the other sports are competing at the highest level, it's difficult to find a surface that hard like the surface that we play tennis and with the aggressive movements that we have in this surface. And I love to play on hard, but probably my body doesn't love it that much. Less as I love. And my feeling is there is a lot of players that love to play on hard, true, but their bodies don't love to play on hard, either. So when I say that, I am not talking about because sometimes people can say or can think that when I say that, it's about thinking about the personal benefit on saying this, to play more on clay or this kind of stuff. Not at all. I say that knowing that will not affect at all what I say in my career. The tour will not change. But in my opinion, will be better if, in a couple of years, maybe 15 or 20, doesn't matter, we find a solution to play on softer surfaces for the bodies. It's not about only during the tennis careers that I am worried about. It's about after your tennis career that you are still a human person and you still want to have a normal life at the age of 35, 32, 31, or 38 when you retire and playing in this kind of surfaces. I see this a little bit more difficult.